been some time since I've spoken on brands because I initially, when I began my writing on mythology, I worked a lot with a lot of advertising agencies on brands and was working with them on semiotics and understanding stories behind brands. So uh, forgive me if, I'm, if I sound a little dated. Uh, let me tell you something about myself. I'm a bit trained in medicine and uh, I worked in the pharmaceutical company. And in my free time, I used to work on mythology. And um, every day I would go to office and I would see office politics happening and I would find the answers in mythology. And I was wondering why no one used mythology to understand uh, office, leadership, governance, branding. And what I'll do today in the next couple of minutes is try to explain uh, very basic concepts about brand and the role of storytelling. And this very famous phrase in India, if you use the word sub maya hair, you know, there's a giggle that comes across everybody. But what does that word actually mean? Um, so let's go through it. I mean, the traditional conventional answer is it means illusion. It does not. It's, it, that's a very 19th century pedestrian understanding of the word. So uh, let's go a little deeper into what exactly does that phrase mean and why it is critical to understand it in marketing. So if you're a marketeer, that word Maya is absolutely critical to understand. Um, we'll begin with a story because mythology is about stories. And we'll begin with this story. So it's a popular story from the Mahabharata. A long time ago, a great war was about to be fought. On one side were the Pandavas and one side were the Kauravas. And they went to Krishna and they said, you have to support us in this battle. And you support us equally. So Krishna, since he loves both of them, says, I divide myself into two parts. On one side is who I am, without weapons, just who I am. On the other side is my entire battalion of armed soldiers. So on one side, I have Narayan. On the other side, I have my Narayani Sena. So what I am and what I possess. So we are told that the Kauravas, the villains of the epic, chose the army, Narayani Sena. And the heroes of the epic chose Narayan. If I were to ask you, if this was the choice given to you, what I am versus what I have, what will you choose? And don't answer the question because after you say Krishna and Narayani Sena, there is a tilt. But let's just do some exercise. Let's see this. What happens when um, I look at Sachin Tendulkar? Do I see who he is or do I see what he has? If he didn't play cricket, would we look at him? So what is his value coming from? From what he is as a person or what he has that we can also enjoy? Narayan or Narayani Sena? When I look at Aishwarya Rai, very beautiful lady, why do I look at her? Do I look at her at all? Or do I look at her beauty? So there she is standing in a, or if she was to step out of a house, and hundreds of people gather around her. They want to meet her. Some people want to touch her. And she's asking herself, who am I looking, who are they looking at? Are they looking at me or what I have? Narayan or Narayani Sena. So uska mulya kaha se aata hai? Value. I, have a, I love translating words in English, in Hindi. In I say that Angrezi mein bolo. Because when you translate words, suddenly meanings become very evident. If I ask you brand, word, let's translate the word brand in Hindi. What word will you use? And we don't find words because... What does it mean? This brand, ye brand hai, matlab kya hai? And somehow when you translate, you're not able, you're grasping with the real meaning, the essence of the word. And I found this story to be very interesting. Narayan or Narayani? What I am or what I have? So let's take a different example. 
a little child goes to his mother and shows the report card and says, Mom, I got 100 out of 100 in math. And the mother says, Are wah, I'm so proud of you. And then he says, I lied. It's 99 out of 100. And the mother frowns. What is the mother looking at? You or your report card? Where is the gaze being directed? To Narayan or Narayani Sena? Tumhara mulya kya hai? What's your value in a classroom, in an organization? Who you are or the salary you get? How are you placed in an org structure? Who are we or what we have? What clothes we wear? What pen we have? What cars we buy? What mobile phones we use? Mera mulya kya hai? And that's a very difficult question to answer. What's the value of a person? If Steve Jobs had not created this wonderful thing called Apple, with 500 billion, zillion, trillion company, would we read his book? Admi ka mulya kaha se aata hai? Am I looking at Steve Jobs or what he has produced, what he can exchange with me? And when I start asking these questions, I get closer to the word, the meaning of this word brand. And then the famous Bollywood example. Mere paas bangla hai, gaadi hai, tere paas kya hai? And the brother says, mere paas maa hai. What are they doing? The two brothers are comparing each other and saying, whose value is greater? My value is greater because I have wealth. The other person says, my value is greater because I have mother. So what I have is defining my value. Nobody is seeing where they are coming from. Now what is wonderful about the difference between Narayan and Narayani, between what I am and what I have, what's that fundamental difference? You can never measure what you are, but you can always measure what you have. So in management, we say that which is measurable is manageable. I can measure your salary and therefore measure your value. I can measure the price of this purse and therefore measure its value. Measurement. The moment the word measurement comes in, we are talking about that which can be possessed, monitored, controlled, changed as per our need. So the Sanskrit word maya has its roots in the word ma, which means mapdand, measurement. That which is measurable is maya. So what is your value? So when I look at you and I say, Tumhara mulya kya hai? So I look at a B school and I say, what is the value of that B school? I am told its value is going to be measured on the basis of the salary that is earned by the people who leave B school. Because that is measurable. Not the kind of people who leave the B school, but their earning potential, what they earn. So if I can get that million dollar salary, million rupee salary, I don't know why everybody's using the word dollar in Indian social summit, but uh, your value starts increasing. So the business schools can be measured based on placement and first placement salaries. Your value has been placed. Market cap determines your value. And that's the space we start to enter. So when I see a person holding an iPad, what do I see? Do I see him or what he has? And suddenly I go to a shop and I buy branded stuff. It means, meri kuch hai. 
a wonderful word from Delhi, Aukar. Such a beautiful word. What is the English translation difficult? It doesn't have the same raw, organic feel to it. You know, the English words are so sophisticated. It means significance. What's your significance? Tum ho kon? And I get to know by the things I possess, which car do I get off from? What mobile phone do I have? Because all this can be measured. I can't measure who you are, but I can measure everything that you possess. And that's an interesting space to go to. Because if I have an iPad, whether I have a Samsung, two different things. So to my, oh, you couldn't afford an iPad? What does it mean? Or some other criteria. Oh, you're not savvy enough. You don't appreciate design. I can measure that. And then say, oh, Samsung, achha, achha, achha. compromise kiya. <laughs> but it's okay, it is great personality. And suddenly, suddenly mulya starts to come in, measurability comes in. Emotion starts to come in from that measurability, and that's the space where brand starts to occupy. And that's the space we start going to. So what do I look at when I look at a human being? Do I look at a visiting card? Do I look at the qualifications that you possess? Do I look at your gender? Do I look at your age? All this is measurable. And that is the space of matter, of thing, of mapdand, of maya, which comes to the most famous marketeer of all, Narada. Teri sadi, meri sadi, uski, uski sadi, meri sadi se safed kaise? Only when I can measure things can I compare and contrast things. If I can't measure something, I can't compare, I can't contrast. So what does Narad, this troublemaking, impish sage do? He comes to your house and says, Bahut acha ghar hai. Very nice, very nice house. Lovely air conditioner, oh, Corio brand. Achha, you didn't buy O General? Achha, you don't like the silence of Daikin? It's okay. In life, we have to live with compromises. And he walks out saying, Na Arayana, Na Arayana. <laughs> because the moolya kaha se dekhte ho admi ka? by what he has. So in the market, when I go to the bazaar, jab hum bazaar mein jate, and I love the word marketing in English, because in Hindi it will be bazari. <laughs> so jab bazari bante ho, when we are marketeers, to bazaar mein bechna hai. Na, main apne aap ko nahi bech sakta. So I transform myself into a measurable thing. I measure my, transform myself into a product or a service or an idea, a cheese. So as Devdat Patnaik, the person, I transform myself into an article on a blog, an article, a column, that's a thing which can be measured. They'll ask me, what do you deliver? So I deliver lectures, I deliver columns, so product, services. Oh, you, will you coach? Huh. But are you a good coach? Okay, this is my fee. You can't afford me, it's okay. What have I done? I've used measurement and branding myself using the price. Tumhari aukat nahi hai, chhod do. Oh, no, 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 we didn't mean it that way, sir. We don't negotiate prices. I know, I know. Cost cutting and all that. Narayana, Narayana. So, Narad ke bina marketing nahi seek sakte. It is the most powerful tool to understand marketing because all marketing is about comparison. When I wear Benetton, I become somebody else. So in the advertising, I'm told that if I wear these jeans, I'm cool. So I want to be cool, so I will buy, and by having that pair of jeans, I become cool. So to be an individual, 
I, I mean, I remember one of the offices, I shall not name it, very senior, it's famous company in India, come from America, and they say you have to be casual. So you have casual Fridays. So I go to the city, a South Indian city, I shall not give the name of the city, you'll figure out the company. One of the South Indian cities, I go on a casual Friday. Everybody's wearing Bermudas. I said, why is nobody wearing a lungi? Because in India, when you are casual, you wear lungis. <laughs> casual Friday, lungi. <laughs> so casual Friday is Bermudas. So you have a uniform on Friday, which is a casual uniform called Bermudas. In my childhood, it was called a chaddi. <laughs> but now we give it fancy names because that's what aukat does. You give aukat to a chaddi. <laughs> uh, morning, Santosh spoke, and I've worked a lot, a lot with Santosh. And Santosh, he says, how you give meaning to a thing. To give meaning to a thing, you have to give measurement to a thing. आपको मापदंड करना है मापदंड से माया आएगा माया से मूल्य आएगा मूल्य से औकात आएगा औकात से ब्रांड बनता है एंड दैट्स द जर्नी ऑफ मार्केटिंग सो हाउ डू आई क्रिएट अ वैल्यू यू सी लेट्स गो टू फंडामेंटल फिजियोलॉजिकल नीड व्हाई डू आई नीड अ ब्रांड आई नीड ब्रांड्स इट्स फिजियोलॉजिकल इट्स नॉट कैपिटलिस्ट हेजमनी when a bird looks into the mirror, it does not see anything. It sees, it looks at the other bird and wonders, can I eat it? No. Will it eat me? No. Can I mate with it? No. Will it mate with me? No. Then it doesn't matter. So it's indifferent. What happens when a human being looks at a reflection? What happens when a human being looks at a mirror? You see yourself, or do you? Or do you see what you imagine yourself to be? So I look into the mirror and I think I am diamond. I meet my wife and she thinks I'm plastic. <laughs> Who is speaking the truth? The mirror, my imagination of myself, or my wife who is looking at me. So mira mulya kya hai? And imagine as if every human being on this planet has this thought, what is my value? And everybody tells you your value is based on what you have, what is measurable about you. What do you possess? What qualifications you possess? Where did you study? What marks did you get? Where do you work? How much salary do you earn? Which is the geography in which your house is located? South Delhi or North Delhi? Gurgaon, Noida, Faridabad, oh, very interesting. <laughs> Measurement, Narayana, Narayana. That's what brand does. It gives me aukat. My boss hates me. He has abused me today. I feel like a little peanut. I'm a walnut. I want to feel good about myself. I will go to the shopping mall and do retail therapy. <laughs> because the more I have, the more powerful I feel. So shopping malls exist. They are a very good social service industry. <laughs> if they didn't exist, where would we be? I can't meditate. I'd rather buy a Mont Blanc pen. Because ek lakh rupay ke liye ek pen, I mean, come on. It's not a good pen. I tried it. <laughs> but that little white dot over there makes me feel mera koi moolya hai is bazaar mein. And that's what the brand gives me. Brand is equal to aukat. Brand is equal to a measurement in a hierarchy. Tum ho kaun, kahan pe ho? So, I want to buy a car. 
which car should I buy? What will give me all? Now you look at this. And you have to decide. You have the money to buy both. Which one will you buy? Which has better features? I will rationalize it. I will make it rational. How will I decide which is a better car? And you ask yourself, which is the better brand? Which gives you better aukat? First you have to do, if you're planning to buy one of the cars, check what your boss is driving. And if your boss is driving a nano, <laughs> do not commit career suicide. <laughs> because he is telling, I believe in simplicity. That's the message he is giving. I have nano, therefore me simple. So when I live in a small flat, where even though I have a billion dollar company, I'm giving you a message. I'm not simple. I'm telling you, look, measurability of my simplicity exists. I live in a small flat. Therefore I'm simple. I can measure it and therefore it is true. Is it true? I don't know. But since logically, a pompous man has a big house and a simple man has a small house. By having a simple house, I create the brand of simplicity. So I bhagwa vastra pehen ke yogi ban sakta. Because the orange fabric in the popular vocabulary has a value, a measurement scale. Compared to silk brocade, it represents spiritual renunciation. So if I wear orange robes, I become spiritual. It doesn't matter who I am. What I have decides what I am. So branding works very beautifully. So if I wear kurta and talk on mythology, people start talking to me in Hindi. <laughs> when I joined Future Group, and I had this very bizarre title called Chief Belief Officer. Trust me, I know it's bizarre. <laughs> but it gets me invited to conferences. Because <laughs> in the scale of bizarreness, it tops. So I have a bizarre designation. So my aukat kya hai? Ye maverick hai. So you created a brand called Maverick. And then you have Kishor Biyani, who is known to be a maverick. And that's how you create. So brand comes under the space of emotions, about aukat, about what I have. Because all these cars are telling you a story. So by buying this product, service, or idea, I am buying that story. And by buying that story, I am buying value. I am buying aukat. And imagine to commoditize Aukat is no small feat. And that's what a brand consultant does. And that's what storytelling is all about. To create a product which is full of Aukat. And the important thing is it has to be in a comparative space. So the next time we look at this, I mean, I always look at Nano, and I said, what is the story what is accompanied with this car? It's the cheapest car for poor people. I am not going to buy money to be poor, buy a car to be poor. I buy a car to be, to be known. Meri koi aukat hai, meri gaadi hai. But when you say this car is, the story of this car is poverty. I'm not going to pay one lakh for it. One lakh rupees to buy poverty? No. <laughs> However rational it will be, I will not buy it. Meri koi aukat hai? So I told my nephew, see, listen, you're just learning driving. I'm buying you a nano. He said, I'll die. I'll go by bus. But you're not going. It's like a scooter and a, and a bike. You know, scooties, once upon a time, they were scooters. We don't believe them. They were like, when you had dinosaurs as pets. <laughs> That's when scooters existed. And if you remember, I would always tell people, yahan pe Ram hai, aur yahan pe Krishna hai. So which car will they drive? 
I mean, will they have a, who will drive a scooter and who will drive a bike? And they also, of course, Krishna will drive a bike. How did a machine get a personality? A bike is for Ram, family man. He'll go in a bike with children and all that. But cool dudes like Krishna should be bike. Suddenly, personality kaha se aya? Because I constructed a narrative, a story around this thing. Ek cheez ko maine jaan di, prana pratishtha. I suddenly gave it meaning. That is Narayani. Narayani per se has no meaning. I give it meaning, prana pratishtha. I broadcast it through advertising agencies. People look at this, bazaar mein aayenge aur bolenge, wo kahani mujhe kharidni hai. I want to buy that idea, I want to buy that story, which is computer rupee kahani. So when I buy an apple computer, I'm not buying a computer, I'm buying an idea. Ek vichar, usse meri aukaad badhti hai. For that you better pay double the price. Because everything costs money. But if you really want value, then look towards Narayana, Narayana. You have to decide. When we talk about market economies, when we talk about capitalism, when we talk about branding, we are not dealing with Narayana. We are dealing with Narayani. We are dealing with measurable, that which can be possessed. We are not talking about people's transformation. It is through things I can transform myself. And that's what branding is all about. And the, the tragedy is, you see, um, when I look at Krishna and I have a peacock feather, wearing a peacock feather doesn't make you Krishna. But branding actually sells you that story. Buy this peacock feather and you will become Krishna. Buy this Mercedes and you will become a special human being. And I want to be that because the mirror says I am worthy of it because I am worth it. By coloring my hair, I become worth it. By whitening my skin, I become worth it. I feed on this fear. And that's what branding is all about. Ultimately, it's a story. <laughs>